Hello everyone. Let's finish our beautiful dolls. Last time in part one we've made head and body and today we'll show you how to finish. We will finish making dress, we will make legs, we will make arms and decorate beautiful uh, hair with the flower. I will show you how to make this all. So let's get going. When you finish the dress, it will be little step and looks ugly. And I will show you how to connect it and make it nice and neat. Finish this last stitch, three double crochets. I will be using the needle. We will be going not in the first, not in the second, in the third stitch. And then going back to the last stitch. Then we can hide this tail. Just going around. Make a knot to secure this tail. And hide it again. So our beautiful dress is done. And because of this shape, triangle shape, the girl can stay nicely. And because we did this frills in the front loop only, yeah, this is like, it stays just fantastic if you want to just put it down. So let's decorate this now. And for that I want to make lovely little rows. I will be using red yarn again. Let's make eight chain stitches. eight and then start from the second chain stitch two single crochets two in the same stitch next stitch two single crochets Then it will be two half double crochets three times. Oh, two in one stitch, two in the next stitch. But if you make three, if you place three double half double crochet, it will be okay. So basically this is not mathematic formula, this is just what I think is will be good. 
So two half double crochets three times. You have two stitches left. I will make two double crochets in each. Two double crochets and two double crochets in the last stitch. Creating kind of a weirdly rose like flamenco, flamenco girls wear rose or another flower. This is what you should have. Chain one I'm making just to secure this last stitch and cut the yarn. Oops, I leave the tail. I will be using this tail to connect the rows. If you turn this inside, this is what I want to have, like spiral. And now we need to secure on the other side. So take this tail all the way down and place a few stitches. We will shape it uh, again when we attach this to the hair. For now I will leave this. I will make maybe a knot just to secure this and leave this. This is the rose. I will attach this later. First I want to make a bun, hair bun, a black color hair. And how we make it? The hair. So I'm making four chain stitches. making it into the circle, slip stitch, there you go, and then I will be making single crochets inside this circle, as many as you need, you need to fill this up and I will show you, so you just keep going making single crochets have made six seven I have made one round and then I will not be going like amigurumi. I'm trying to show you this black yarn is not really the best like this. So what I'm trying to do, I will go with single crochet on top of those ones. Have a look. You're going inside again and out and making single crochets all the way around again on top of your other single crochets.
have made eight more and this is what I'm trying to make this is like like a button right so if you keep your stitches on one side not in the middle of the row like we usually do trying to create this shape right so if you want you go even more so into the center pick the yarn and the stitch is kind of inside so when you turn this over it is like a bun it's a very clever idea um, I think that's enough chain one to secure the last stitch and cut in the yarn leave some tail so this is the bun it will be the bun and then it will be the flower on the side we need to make them close to each other like this let's do it now so first we'll take the bun right on the top you know that uh, nanny plum if you watched um, nanny plum nanny plum had exactly the same bun we can even make nanny plum if you know what I mean I don't remember the little cartoon children's cartoon we used to watch very nice very kind and it was little fairy and she had a little friend and it was nanny plum this is bun so I'm just holding and trying to go around gorgeous and with this the same tail I will attach keyring <coughs> <coughs> and I've got my keyring I will put this on the side and I can even don't have much yarn left I'm trying to make uh, what I did on this just like a couple locks I think it will look even better so we've done a bun uh, rows on the side we've done a keychain and 
and I don't have enough yarn just try to be creative create uh, some lovely hair or some other features I believe all those little dollies all those little toys will be very unique you can't really make exactly the same don't have much yarn left okay so uh, this will be it then maybe later I can create something different on it but I think I will keep it like that I don't want to uh, cut this tail because I haven't made a knot. I just want to hide this as much as I can. Lovely. And then the rows. Again, the rows just be creative and uh, use your imagination. I'm attaching it on the side of the bun or on the near the bun, like this. I think that's how it should be. I want to make hands and legs. I will keep those tails for now. Maybe I will attach legs with it. I have done two dolls. And now when our little doll is ready, let's finish it off. So I have made this chain for legs, this is chain 40 and chain 25 for arms and I've got little beads and I will show you how I finish this. So first let's make arms, you've got the bead. They around eight millimeters, I would say. Just fits with these hooks nicely. I will put one end, then I will make a knot. one you want to cut and then with this one end you take this I will just drag this across Like 
like this and make second bead making nice neat knots and this will be little arms how cool is that you can leave it without legs or I've got legs exactly the same bead and then knot And I've got those two strings and what I will do oops, fold it in half find the middle bit approximately we can slide it off make one knot check that this is in the middle if it's not just slide any size you want any side and let's make a couple more knots to secure this put the skirt down lady ta -da! This is my little bambolina, like little Spanish flamenco girl. Put this on your back as a back charm or on your keys. Make different loop and put it in the car on a camera as a car charm looks adorable and hope you enjoyed my tutorial subscribe like if you're not gonna make it right now please put click on save and make it later this is a lovely little project that lots of people would enjoy to receive this little present I'm sure